<laughs> this contest has turned <laughs> aggressive, <laughs> antagonistic, so to speak. But I couldn't come up with good words. <laughs> <laughs> you had some good words in there. No, I didn't. That's okay. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Good morning, family. What's up, fam? Welcome back to Life with Peggy and the Don. And the Don. So today it is, <laughs> I guess, uh, game two of the three game Peggy versus Don challenge. Uh, this one doesn't have any cooking, so I got a slight advantage there. Yes. Uh, Y'all know I lost game one with the uh, Pizza Wars challenge. So now we're doing a gingerbread house challenge. Yeah. And honestly, I've never done one before. I've never had a desire to do one <laughs> before. But just to stroke his little male ego, <laughs> I will do it. And I hope this comes out as good as he wants it to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care one way or the other. So we bought these from Walmart. I want to say they were less than $10. Yeah. So you can just pick the one that you want me to have. Well, see, I want the one with the green in it. Okay, because green is one of your colors. Green is one of my colors. Okay. So, so we got these two boxes, still sealed, never opened. I don't even know whether they come with instructions or what. So. You need instructions for a gingerbread house? I don't know. I, why Donald, these are already built. Is it already built? It's already built. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, seriously? Well, it's not decorated. Oh, okay, so you want to decorate it. Okay, okay. Was this a package of frosting? <laughs> the you know built. Look at that. We got the wrong ones. Well, okay, so... Since they're already built and broke and cracked and everything, <laughs> uh, we'll just see who decorates theirs the best, I guess. That's the idea. I didn't want it to be already <laughs> built. <laughs> it does, you would not assume that, but it's solid too. It says pre-built. We didn't even read that. Yeah. We didn't read it. <laughs> well, that's okay. We got it here now, so we're going to make the best of what we have. Okay. So, let's see what Donald, what Donald is working with decoratively. Okay, so at some point, I got to get the frosting out of here and put it in one of the little frosting bags that you see bakers do. Now, Peggy has done that before. No, I have. Well, not successfully. <laughs> It's telling you what to do. Okay, so we got the little triangular shaped frosting bag with the little tip, the little frosting so it nozzles. Says, assemble the bag. So, and you don't want your, get us, um, okay, so you want to cut the tip off like that. Okay. And then, where's the, the nozzle? And you want to put that in like that. You have to do it too. Oh, I just want to make sure yours work. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to cut mine until I knew. <laughs> until I knew that it was proper to cut it. All right. I'm not taking any chance here, fam. But it says for best results, knee pouch for one minute warm water. Let's get let's get each other a bowl of warm water. Okay. My box has like some green tile, some green roof tiles on it, right? And so I'm thinking it's gonna have like little tiles in the bag. 
Nah, they just give you some green solid fondant. So I'm supposed to make like little towel shaped shingles for my house. Come with a few starlight mints and some little, uh, I guess, tiny M&Ms. If he could not eat them, he might be successful. <laughs> All right. So we're going to snip. <laughs> I was sitting there like, I got an idea of how to get this in there. You're doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> what y'all think? See, now you act like you've never done it before. How did you know to twist the bottom? Uh, I figured I'm treating like a toothpaste tube. You know, you gotta you start from the twist. bottom. You gotta start from. Now, <laughs> if you don't squeeze your toothpaste tube from the you, back end, you, you do, but it. you but you don't twist it at the bottom. Oh. I just want to know how you knew that. He's cheating. I believe he watched this on TV. <laughs> he could try to say he didn't, but I believe he did. All right. So anyway, I guess our competition would have to let you guys be the judge. Uh, whose house turns out the best. I got some ideas of how this is going to go. So my house has a little roof, roof damage. Roof? <laughs> oh, man. Yep, my house has a little damage, so I'm going to try to fix my shingles. So let's see. Come on out. So it says this stuff dries quickly. See that? It's coming apart. Don't, don't give me pity. I'm about to do this, honey. <laughs> I don't want your pity. <laughs> you know there are a lot of good women constructors, right? What do you call them? Uh, construction workers, like, yeah. I just saw a story about that. They said they want to stop putting signs up that say men at work because there's a lot of women who work on those construction sites. I wouldn't care what the sign said, just as long as we make the same money. Yeah. Forget a sign. <laughs> I just want the money. That's a hard job, though. Oh, yeah. There's a leak in this old building. <laughs> and my son's about to move. I'm going to go get my glue gun. <laughs> That's okay, y'all. It's coming together. Might take me a few minutes. I'm going to show you how I'm putting this back together piece by piece. I'm going to try not to go get my glue gun, but that would be cheating if I got my glue gun. So I don't want to cheat this young lad. Baby. Uh-uh. That, that would be cheating. We have to only use what they gave us. Okay. I don't want to hurt you too bad. There is no way you can copy that house that comes on that box. You have to be some kind of expert baker or something. Don't start with the uh, excuses, excuses <laughs> so early in the game, honey. Have you just met me? I'm going to get a butter knife. You know what I think? What's that? You should get a butter knife. I'm going to get a butter knife. I'm going to let them cheat. <laughs> what a knife is now cheap. Y'all see the cup peg it made for me? See how he's trying to use all these distraction tactics? It's not even my birthday. It's not even Christmas. It's a Star Wars cup. He saw my little Darth Vader ornament on my little tiny Christmas tree mm -hmm. and made a Star Wars cup for me. This thing is beautiful. I'm going to get a nice closer shot of this thing. All right, so according to this picture, I don't know where my cookie went. I bet you Donald moved it. <laughs> he cheating already. The game ain't even started. All right, y'all, so my cookie is broken too. Okay, so this is supposed to be a candy cane. And this is my other one. So I'm going to try to fix it. Ooh, my 
my hand is shaking. Yeah, do it before and after. I'm going to cover up that hole and it's going to be like it was never there. See how he giving up already? And this was his idea. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm just sitting here like, how in the world did they do that? Do what? I mean, they put little these little tiny little dots. Quit complaining, big man hands. <laughs> <laughs> Quit complaining, big man hands, and just do the work. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He over there complaining because he got them big man hands. Yeah. So I'm trying to get some, get so some little dots right there. Why he over there crying? Peggy about to build her a house, honey. Now it might not look like theirs, but I'm going to try to come as close as I can and I'm not going to take all day. Because big man hands over here, he going to cheat. <laughs> you already putting decorations on? Don't worry about what I'm doing. See, the, see, that's what's wrong. You a nosy neighbor. That's what you are. Worry about what's going on in your house. <laughs> worry about your bad kids out there running on people's grass. <laughs> He's a nosy neighbor. My little gingerbread kids. Did okay. they give you some? I no. mean, how he gonna be a nosy neighbor with the gingerbread house? Wow. See what I'm saying? See, don't you hate your neighbors being nosy? <laughs> he, he can't keep his, oh, my house fell. You know why I fell? Because you over here bothering me. <laughs> I'm sitting here like. I didn't look at your little ugly house not one time, and that's why you ain't gonna have no frosting left. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. He ain't gonna have no frosting left. Oh, I'm gonna use this. Let me see. Done, done. Yeah. No, he got a lot to go. He's showing him what he done, so. <laughs> I've made some progress. You sure have, honey bunch. Okay, so let's see if I can get these things on here. You can do it. Wow, look how perfect. What's perfect? Your window. See, that's because you it you're a peeping time. How in the world did you do that? Get out of my house. How'd you even get the door like that? I mean, it's... This ain't even, this ain't even right, y'all. This is unfair. I'm about <laughs> ready to quit. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, family ain't ready yet. <laughs> wow. Do not quit. Nope, not gonna quit. Thank you. You a soldier, honey. I'm gonna soldier on. You soldier on. You know how you feel like you should be able to do something and then you can't do it, how yeah. frustrating that is. I know exactly That's what That's what this about. is right now. I know exactly what you're saying. Well, it's easy to put stuff on the roof. Because gravity is not taking over. The way I figure it, the far that roof is my only shot. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories Tree. 
gonna live my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, oh darn, that looks great! Look at you! <laughs> that looks... Unfortunately, I only had enough of one side of the house. So, <laughs> the other side... It's not going to get the same treatment. Sad friend, that's like the back of a Christmas tree. <laughs> there you go. of the challenge or whatever you want to call it Donald will describe his house he will show you a picture and then he will show you the real thing I will do the exact same thing we want you in the comment section to say who you vote for you can't say both we just want you to say who you think did the better job his ego is bruised. He took that L. <laughs> now, we don't want him to take another one, but be honest and fair, because we got that kind of family. No feelings will be hurt. Let us see what's going on. So, young lad, go ahead and describe this beautiful home that you've made. <laughs> that was a very objective introduction. Okay. Well, family, <clears throat> my gingerbread home is in the neoclassic Norwegian gingerbread style, first made famous by Adolphus Gingerbreadius. Um, as you see here at the front of the home, I have the red candy mat, which is traditional for this region. Uh, near the base of the home, we have the green flowers because we're trying to get a nature-involved look with the home. As you spin around to the front and sides, you see traditional German imported tiles that were hand placed by local village artisans. Uh, the tiles are placed in such a way to where the snow drifts off to the side. Unfortunately, this home has recently been the subject of a, a nor'easter. As the home faces south, the northeast winds blew the snow onto this side of the home causing most of the uh, German place tiles to be covered with snow. But we believe that it gives it a very authentic look. If you go to the rear of the home, you will see that we have the, uh, the artist's signature reverse arcing decor, uh, which is repeated in a pattern for the first three levels of the under the roof. Topped off by four starlight chimneys, which is very traditional in this region. Two reds, two greens. So this is a very traditional home, very standard, but we believe that that simplicity gives it its character. I am not a wordsmith, <laughs> such, 
as, and as he described his home so eloquently, I am just a simple young lady. Oh. So my home, this is my little cottage home. This is my homestead home, okay? Oh. In this house, you will see the French, well, it's, only, it's missing one, so can you call it a French door? <laughs> <laughs> this home is built for children. Oh. This is the land of miracles and beliefs. Oh. When you come to this house, all your dreams come true. Okay. If you get hungry, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to ask anybody. Come outside and get you a gumdrop. Mm. Come outside and get you a candy cane. Come and get you a sweet tart. And then, when you want the meaty part of the house, you go around back and get some of that chocolate sugar cookie. So, this house is made for the children. While they frolic along the front portion of the home, you see they have a little merry-go-round here that they can just go round and round. This is a friendly home for the children, not like that. That's kind of threatening. <laughs> to the children. As you can see, we do have some snow. We did have a snow drift mm -hmm. and it's, it just stuck right in the proper places. Do you see that? There's no dangling parts down that could come down and fall on the kids' heads. No, this house is well built. Now, we did have a little accident here, but that's okay. Guess what? The children have gotten together and they've patched it up and they fixed it and this is the land of lollipops and maple leaves. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not like that. <laughs> That's the house in the woods. Notice I never pointed to her house while I described my own I'm not, home. I'm a thump his. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the house the witch made to try to draw kids in. <laughs> This is where Goldilocks lived. <laughs> this contest has turned <laughs> aggressive, <laughs> antagonistic, so to speak. But I couldn't come up with good words. <laughs> <laughs> you had some good words in there. No, I didn't. That's okay. <laughs> I may not be a wordsmith, but I put my heart, soul into this home. For the children. That's beautiful, baby. Thank you, honey. That's about all we have today, <laughs> fam. Another, you know what, though? Like I said, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. It's all about it us really being able to spend time me. together to laugh and pick at each other. But we've been wanting to do this, honestly. We've been wanting to do this for a couple of years. I've bought a couple. Like last year, I bought one. You bought one. And I gave it to my son. Oh, and yeah. We, <laughs> Because we let it sit till after Christmas, and I'm like, well, you guys take it home and try to make it for the kids. And and honestly, I think Donald did a superb job. He really did. I mean, I like that. I wish I had that house, though, because I think I would have <laughs> worked better with the fondant and all, but he did really good. You have to give credit where it's due. It looks nice. Not as nice as mine, but it looks <laughs> nice. And I like, look at your little door. They're going to be honest and they're going to use their clean judgment and they're going to vote for my house. Which is just, I hope you don't be disappointed too much. But that's about all we have for the day, fam. <laughs> it, was, it was a little more work, even though the house was put together. It was a little more work than I expected, but it was still fun to spend a little bit of time together. We should have had better tools to put our house Oh, yeah. In. You know what I'm saying? Like, we needed, like... Uh, we probably could have used toothpicks, and we could have used uh, tweezers, tweezers, and we could have used a little flour to get stuff to yeah. pat it down. Either, but whatever, it it is what it is. I'm gonna keep mine up. I'm gonna keep mine up too. Good job. I think I'm gonna display mine next to my tiny tree. You want a gun drop? Yeah. See, now he's happy. Oh yeah. All right, fam. Well, we can say this three times already, <laughs> but thank you for watching video. And remember. Get out there and do something good for yourself. And for others and as And for well. others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam. <laughs> oh, I threw some candy. Yeah, I see you. You try to hit with a candy.